I don't know. Ooh! Yo, hi. We are playing Sweet 776. Sweet 776, okay? Okay? So let's start. Let's start. Let's the story about this game. A pure terror with a twisted backstory, jumping straight into a horse riding Sweet 776. Sweet 776 focuses on a tense environment or pure suspense, horror, and mystery. It was my intention when developing this game to keep the player on edge throughout the whole ride while immersing the player in all sorts of mystery, story, and curiosity. Story. Marcy was a famous well-known architect. She was found of her work and took great pride in what she did. However, she had an odd side to herself. Marcy wasn't one to take criticism very well, so she tried she tried a she tried to cope with it by ringing her bell. Every time she rang her bell would signify criticism which made her very very mad. It became especially bad after she completed designing and constructing her new home formerly known as Suite 776. The design was odd, confusing, and unpractical. Marcy's greatest creation, according to her, and then she hung herself hanging inside Suite 776, lifeless. Oh, shit. Is it your intention? I, for a second, I thought I was Marcy. Is it your intention to prove that the myths revolving around Suite 776 are true? And to photograph Marcy in motion as it assumed that she lurks in the hallways and terrorizes anybody willing enough to ring her bell. To criticize her, how many times will you ring the bell? Sweet 776 is a short horror game with an estimated single completion time of 50 minutes. As such, Sweet 776 has no safe functionality. It must be completed in a single sitting. Sweet 776 includes three endings. <gasps> oh, I love it when they have multiple endings. All sorts of achievements, puzzles, and mysteries to solve. I think we got it. I think we got the premise of it. Um, you know, it won't be right if I don't if I don't uh, take a, a, a drink of Red Bull. <laughs> Get your headphones. Put it loud. I'll do. 75, 76, just because I don't want to break my ears. Ah, shit. Here we go. Warning, please keep in mind that Sweet 776 contains flashing lights. Sweet 776 is heavily aggressive with horror elements. Please keep this in mind and progress at your own discretion. Oh, I love a good warning sign. I think I, uh, I think I already fucked up. Yep, yep, game audio would have been, would have not been there. Marcy was found in her room dead. She hung herself. Thank God I remember. She left her only family alone, her seven-year-old son. Marcy was a famous architect, a very well-known architect. Unfortunately, she became too well-known for the wrong reasons. <clears throat> it is my intention to prove that Sweet 776 exists to that I will photograph Marcy in motion. I will photograph her even if it kills me, no matter what. It kind of sounds like a phasmophobia type of game. All that is left to do is ring her bell. That's all it takes, just ring the bell. Okay. We're here. Oh shit, what is this 12 minutes? Oh my god, Vietnam flashbacks. I hate that game. I never finished that game. Ah, oh, I'm panicking. <laughs> oh my god. That is so fucking loud. Ding dong. Your door's kind of open. Seven seven five. Here it is. Uh, okay. I guess I'm not going there. 
What room is this? Oh no, it's seven, seven, six. Never mind, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Maxing, relaxing. Oh, that's beautiful. I swear the quality of this game is <clears throat> Reddit online. I survived sweet seven seven six. It is real. It is it all appeared real, but that couldn't be possible. I was on the twelfth floor, yet looking through the windows displayed the first floor. There are over six other suite on this floor, yet suite seven seven six appeared larger with impossible proportions. There was even an upper and lower level of the suite. It made absolutely no sense whatsoever, and how did I get out? Why am I the only one? I have no clue. I came to Suite 776 with the intention of recording my journey. I settled cameras, but all the footage was lost. XX Gamer XX. Okay. Why is there a 10 there? What the fuck? Why is there a 10 there? Okay, the the lock is weak and simple. Door is locked. <laughs> Why is that so goddamn loud? <clears throat> Damn, this is a big ass sweet. Oh, this is definitely Visage vibes. Oh, her bell already? Oh well, let's jump straight to it. Bell has been rung. I thought someone else was walking. <sighs> not really, not right now. So all I know is that the door is. Maybe I should be. Maybe I should try ringing the bell one more time. Okay. All I know is the lock is. Uh, or the, 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 the dresser is locked, but the lock is a very simple lock. All the doors are locked. There's one bell. All the doors are closed. And now this crazy music is playing. Ooh, oh. What are you creating? The Halo intro theme song? The bell has rung a second time. Run! I can't wait to scream. Screech. Yell. I've never done it. I've never done a full yell. A full scream. Cause so far, not all games. Some games have came very close. Like Summer 58. I feel like that. Might have been one of the scary, scariest games. <clears throat> so, then the the intro said that I was here to see if she was real, maybe, and to capture her on camera. Where's my camera, though? That's what you know. <gasps> she rung it. Oh, she's so nice. Hello, Missy. <sighs> I'll ring it too. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck is there a clown? Is she gonna be oh! the whole 
thing is just confusing. Whew. Whew. Somehow the door connect, the small space appeared large, and the windows displayed this warm summer day. Perhaps was a gen genius, genius, just nobody realized it. <sighs> Imagine the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be some bullshit. Dun 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 Ooh, we're all okay, here we go. Here's the scary part. Oh, press and left hold click for night vision. Press to take a photo of my inventory. <gasps> press I to access your inventory. <laughs> Hover over an item for more information. The first page of my notebook is missing. Something actually tore it out. I w awoke in 276, or so I think I did. I, I feel as though I have been fully locked in. It actually feels like an illusion, like it's not real. Okay. Night vision is really, you know, not helping. Well, that's back to normal. Doors locked. And right click is to take a picture. Now the thing is, the thing is, I don't know how many pictures I have. Another office. Okay. Huh. The office. <clears throat> okay. Why is there a hook there? Oh, okay. Can I jump? I can't jump. There we go. Okay. So she's uh, a gear architect. Emo results, printed copy. Marcy does not appear to be in the proper state of mind. Several tests were conducted, testing her reaction to stressful environments, conditions, reactions. Marcy displayed include twitching, mumbling, redness, excessive laughter. Marcy decided to end the session early. Unfortunately, I advise you consult Marcy to return for further assessments. Medication may be required. As current, the way I see it, Marcy may endanger herself or others. Would you mind following over the context of Marcy's family, perhaps her son? Okay. Same thing there. So, ring the bell again. Oh, that's a warning. A locked red box with three inserts above. What was that? Okay. It's over here. So where did she hung herself? 9 p.m. But that's the real question. Where does she hang herself? <gasps> oh, it's blue here. Bzzz. That's gonna explode. That's definitely going to explode. Dumb. I wish you could run, you know? Make it 
easier for all of us. Puyukasha. Let me out! Let me out! <clears throat> I can tell this bitch is gonna be creepy as hell. You're so nice. Two, three, ready for. I refuse to say it. Oh my god, I'm getting fucking creeped out. Oh my god. Do I need to ring the bell again? Oh my god. What do you want me to do, Missy? Fuck! What do you want me to do? You want me to say hi? <laughs> oh. <sighs> ring, ring, ring. Fuck, I should have taken a picture. Ring. My hands are sweating, my palms are sweating. I couldn't even see what the fuck that was. I look like a dude, not a... Ring a ding ding, ring a ding ding, ring a ding ding, ring a ding ding ding. Ba dum bum bum, one two three, here we come. How about a da 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 da? A fragment of okay. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, ready for creepy me. One, two, three, ready. One, two, three, zero. One, two, three, zero. One, two, three, zero. Nope. Okay, I guess I go fuck myself then. Maybe the clocks? This one's seven. Nine, 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 twelve, seven. No, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Oh, another note. <sighs> Interviewer, you mentioned that Marcy had a bell on her desk at the office. Would you mind re repeating what you told me prior to this interview? Coworker. Well, every time she would read something online about herself or her work that she didn't agree with or she would ring that bell. The bell rang continuously, especially after she finished the construction of her new home. Her masterpiece, as she called the interviewer, she was an angry person, wasn't she? I don't know, you tell me. Hairpin. Okay. So I have a hairpin now. And now I need a four digit code. Okay. There must be a secret somewhere. Oh, there's a photograph right there. Okay, let's see. Can I open this? There we go. Screwdriver. So I see a 10 there. There's cameras. OK, 
Okay, so the first thing we have is a 10. Okay, so one zero. Now we need to look for something. They had a dog, okay. Ring it again, remind me of my failures. Dun, dun. Okay, there must be like something invisible, right? Or something that I could use the night vision on. I guess not. Then ring it again, re remind me of my failures, ring it again, remind me of my failures. Then I will grab you from behind. Watch me ring. Oh man. It's kinda that's kinda sexual. Oh man. This is a child's game. What type of shenanigans are you on? Ring. Ring, god dang it. You have to ring. You gotta tell me twice. A seventh time. You said you were born me. Is that a lie? I believe that is a lie. <clears throat> oh my god. Wait, did I get it? Oh no, I did it. Not enter. You ain't gotta ask me twice. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, there's so many unlocked doors. What is that? Design <coughs> designer of the decade. Thirty-five, thirty-one, thirty-five, thirty-one, thirty-five, thirty-one. Three five three one. Uh, how do I get out? What the fuck? 
I'm like stuck here. <sighs> Just get me. Oh, she's right here with me. What the fuck was that all about? I couldn't even fucking move. My find you so that would be reach for oh yeah. Pick up. Okay, so 35 31 Is it the last photo? Bow cutters? Why would we need bow cutters? So there's pictures behind the mannequins. Too high up. Hey, but what am I? Okay. Thirty five, three one, three five, three one, three five, three one. So I got the hook, so. I think, oh my god. So I'll be able to get the, <clears throat> the thing in the, in the bathroom. Oh, I didn't even see that. Is there a picture here? I feel like that's the a golden key. I feel like that's the the good ending if you find all those photographs. Three five three one thirty five I don't I don't need to remember that anymore. Yeah. Is that a piece of wood? No. Is it here? 
<clears throat> Let me read in peace. Interview 12, Marcy, interview. Many have found that you constantly purchase these clothing mannequins. What are the mannequins for? Marcy, well, you know, I figured it would be interesting to have a head count of those who oppose me. You know, wake up in the morning, look at their physical representation straight in the face. I would scream at them to back off, but they just stand there looking at me. It drives me crazy. Right. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of creepy. A bar. Oh, the wooden thing. Ring a ding ding, a ring a ding ding. Ring it again. Remind me of my failures. She's here. I don't think I want to do that. Oh, she's right there. Okay. Are you what? So. First step is ring the bell. Second step is go. <sighs> what? Okay. Do I have it with me? I don't. Oh, I can't come up here all the time. One, two, three. First step is ring the bell. Second step is go upstairs. Turn on the lights? Third step is... I am confused. We'll just go with the flow, I guess. Next step is the stairs, right? Wait, hold on. Are we gonna turn off all the lights now? I guess I'm gonna just put the piece in. I have one. Then it said the second step is go upstairs. <gasps> oh shit. Door the hell do I open it? Bro, you tell me the fuck. How am I supposed to know? here <sighs> that would have been a perfect time to do it now why in the hell do you have one in the shower Frog is jumping around in my head. Oh, I got the picture. I got the picture. I got the picture. <sighs> she seems to be part of this house. <sighs> no matter where you turn, you can hear her anger. Boo hoo.
Ringing her bell was a reminder of her failures. And they allowed her. I really did make her mad. Die, 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 dead. Bitch. Up close, she looks torn and aware of her surroundings. If she's fully conscious, I've always read tales when I was younger on demonic positions. You are aware of everything, even as your own blood begins floating in your eyes. You just can't, couldn't move a muscle. But he could, could Mars be possessed? She's literally stalking me right now, trying to prepare myself for when she grabs me from behind any moment. Did she attack me? It looks like the longer I stay, the more aggressive she becomes, but how the hell do I leave? There's no exit. I mean, you do have those bow cutters. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't put it in. Is this an endless loop? Here we go. Is she gonna reach through the wall? Honestly, you could just break. Oh, no, you can't. Is that not for me? No, it's just a light source? Okay. There's a engine here. Backup engine, we can use that. Or no, you don't fuck with it. Excuse me. Ah, uh, picture here. creeped out right now. So this is where I came from. I got multiple stuff on the right side. Now it's called left side. Oh, it's just... What is that? I feel like I've seen this device before. Attention. Oh, that door. So I'm here to open the door, but being and then uh, open the door just to return where I was. That did not make sense. Did I forget something? I got that here. Something over here. Okay, go 
out here somewhere. Let's. Maybe something back here. Dungeon? No. This? Oh. Does that mean that the door is open now? Bitch. I was too concerned to take the picture. <laughs> oh no. It's fucking loud. Kind of looked like a... A monster. Did you leave something here for me? No. You a knob. Okay. Axe. What can I use an axe for? This? Is there anything here? No. Can I break this? No. Is it maybe here? What? What do I go back since I heard that noise now? There's something here. What? Was all this just to? <laughs> I'm so confused. What can I use the door for? Ah, oh, the axe for. Oh, that door that was closed. Right? <laughs> Fuck, my hands. My fingers are fucking sweating. Put these pictures up before. Okay, I have one more picture left. Oh, that's the radio. Okay, I have one more left. And they got you like that. Did you close your eyes? Damn. <laughs> Is that why it's closed? Are you opening your eyes? Jump scare in three, two, one. <sighs> Before you clap me. My name is Joseph Shippen. I write this journal just in case something goes wrong. I want you to know that I was here and I probably died here. 
I came to investigate Suite 776. I did this because Mary Shippen is my mother. I, her only son, Justice Sibley, 27 years old at the time of this note, wanted to meet her for the first time. Many claim Suite 776 is not real. Apparently, others were given permission to enter the suite with no luck and triggering the cycle. Or should I say? With luck, they did not trigger the cycle. I stand before the bell at this very moment and me about to ring it. Funny thing is I get this feeling that I shouldn't ring it. I feel like I rang it before and it was sent back right. Let me try it again. Either way, I'm going to ring it. I think I will document what I see. Hopefully, snap a few pictures. Am I supposed to cut you down? Do you have something in your hands? Wait, so am I your son? do that to me. Huh? Walk away. <coughs> Ain't gotta ask me twice. Twice. I'm out. <clears throat> I'm out. Doors locked. I can't put that stick anymore. I'm out. The fuck? I don't need to investigate further more. Well, she's not gonna let me leave. Huh? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That would have been crazy if uh, when the door was closing, she would have popped out at the... Mm, at the end of the hallway. Last nice picture. And is that game? Ending 2. Sometimes it's best to leave mess behind. Treat them as though they don't exist. No matter how badly I want to accept it, I can't. I just have so many questions with no answer. There is a way to save my mother. I know there is, but what could it be? There has to be a pattern of some sort, a sequence of some sort that must be commenced. But what, what could that sequence be? I will have to come back one day and find out. Why are you going back? Come on. Finn. I want to see the game stats. That's not your mother anymore. Ending to unlock time plate. 45 minutes. Four photos of Marcia's motion taken. Two, three gold bars. Five, six. Easter egg found. To view credits. There's an Easter egg? I'm curious, what was in the box? Can I fast forward? Yo, what's up? We finished the game, and now I'm curious about the endings, so let's take a look. If you want to know about the, end, the beginning of this game or playthrough, please check out the previous video. So I got ending two. How to get all photos, how to get... 135. Put it right there. The red clock is in the living room on the second floor. 
The blue clock is in the bedroom. <gasps> so the photos were each clock. Wait, is it under the chair? This photo is inside the safe. What safe? I didn't even see a fucking safe. What the fuck? In the basement. Conditions, you don't find anyone. You don't find all the photos. You don't find all the gold. Go to the room where she committed suicide. After that, you ring the bell again. Oh, I already finished the game. Now I'm watching all endings. Supposedly there's a, a Markiplier Easter egg, I think. So this is, if you continue, I'm scared, I'm scared. So this is what would have happened if I rang the bell again, nothing? Why is it all dark? Achieve ending one. You know, it's strange. I feel like I've done this before. Okay, this is the same dialogue I got so far. I feel like I've been through this many, many times. So what's the endless cycle? It's as though I've made a mistake, I've done something wrong. Okay. And because of that mistake, I am brought back to where it all began. Perhaps there's a way to save my mother, to end this curse. Yeah, this is what I got. You find all six photos, you need to take over 10 pictures, you find all golden bars, go to the room, she committed suicide. After, go to the photo board. This is what I was left with, so I was in the safe. Pin all six photos, go to the final room. After opening the room, go back to the, f after opening the room, go back to the photo board. And she's just sitting there watching it. I am happy you got this far and reached me, my true self. Well, it's been many years since I have seen you, my son. So long that I've actually forgotten your name. I am truly sorry for that. I can see you've come here with the intention to photograph me to prove the world I exist. However, that's impossible. You knew that from the start. Shall I remind you again? Sweet 76 does not exist anymore. It has not been around for over 30 years. Where you stand right now is your apartment, the apartment that sits on the land where my home used to be. Oh. None of this is real and none of this happened just like I never killed myself. I was murdered. Huh? To which during your upbringing you were seen as the son of a crazy mother destined to follow my path. That mental strain and criticism got to you the same way it got to me. Don't become me, Joseph. Oh, look, I remember your name again. <laughs> now come to me and let me remove you from this place. Go out there and live. Never come back. Okay. Is she going to attack me? I feel like it's building up to it. Is that a gun? E to wake up. Oh, here we go. <sighs> oh. Okay. What next? Also, I'm a schizo.
It's funny, I never saw myself as being crazy unless people point it out. I like to think I am not crazy right now, at least. Truth is, I will probably come back home tonight, get into bed, and forget. Forget everything I just witnessed? Is there something wrong with me? Maybe it's the pills I'm taking. The doctor said they helped my mom, so why wouldn't they help me? Okay. That was a nice ending. So this is the Easter egg. I said do not open though. Oh, is there a key? Oh. Boo. Nope, that's just me. I'm joking. It's just Stan here, the developer of this game. Hope you liked it. Not the Easter egg that you just happened to stumble upon, but I hope you liked the game. It's a lot of fun, wasn't it? A little spooky here and there. Give you a couple little, um, little uh moments here and there right i hope it did at least otherwise i completely failed in building this game and i should be aware of that so i could improve and be better in the future wouldn't you agree but anyways back to the whole point here before i stumble along and along and start talking about some other random stuff i'm very proud of you for reaching this easter egg of mine nobody was ever supposed to find it i mean who in their right mind would think hey i'm gonna go try to pick up a ladder that I already placed before I'm going to try to pick it up for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, and that's what I thought too. And then successfully pick it up, right? That's crazy. And then I'm going to go use that picked up ladder. And I'm going to go take it to the room where there is a counterbalancing weight. Put it down, climb up that ladder, and then find a random pink key. And you use that key to open up a room that says do not enter. And by the way, the room did say do not enter, so you completely broke that rule altogether, but man, I'm not here to judge anyways. You did a good job. I'm proud of you. So I hope you don't find this too random. I hope I didn't burst your horror atmosphere. I hope I didn't make this seem like a joke now. Like It's not supposed to be a joke. It's still supposed to be scary. I mean, here, let, let, let me lower my tone a little bit. Let me lower just, let me just lower the, um, the pitch of my voice to make it seem a little scarier. Is that better? See? back in a horror game right now isn't that phenomenal isn't that phenomenal you should be very happy that some oh, random God. voice is talking to you right now in a game that you were trying to play in peace and tranquility but sorry here i'll leave okay <laughs> bye-bye and thanks for playing <laughs>